Oh! What was that? Oh, wow, that, yeah. Now I see what they were talking about, the giant scorpion. That was definitely a giant scorpion. Hello, and welcome to a first impressions video of a game about to pop on Steam. Muaka. Uh, Muaka or Mulaka? I'm, I'm going to I'm going to have a lot of issues with pronunciations. This game is a game based around the the mythology or the legends of an indigenous people who live in the north. Uh, well, yeah, of northern Mexico, known as the Taramara. Also, pro probably getting that wrong too. My, my English is not so goodly. My my everything else is terrible. Uh, you play as a Sikoruma, which is a Taramara shaman. Let's. Jump into it and have a little look. The idea of the game is to make people more aware of the, the the legend, the story that is these people of the north of Mexico. I thought we'd have a little go of it. I was fortunate enough to receive a, a copy from the developers. Uh, we're going to go with a Profile 3. I have played probably about 10 minutes of the game. Uh, two things before we get into it. Well, three things actually. First of all, uh, I still have a cold. I don't ordinarily sound like this, but the game is, it releases in the next day, I believe. So we got I wanna get this out so that you guys can make an informed decision before the game releases. Uh, secondly, I'm playing this on a potato. Kind of a computer, more a potato than a computer. A potato of a computer. The art style is the art style in the game. It's not the fact that I'm playing on very low settings. I'm not. And thirdly, none of it is in English. None of it. That I have seen so far. We're going to have to delete and start again. So there are a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of um, reading. Subtitles for everything, of course. So we're going to get into it. There's going to be a very big cutscene to begin with. So let's get started on it. Arisopari, arichirisopari. Eyera yenari, ari o no mecha. Napabua, ech humapu, ni hiri harware. Napanewar su uava namuti. Ech repamu chuama. Ech copereare, usan siento raramuri. It's a poly pobre. A we are a kitty busure we eh. A waru o cherole. A liwi lima de buyameto. Nori, cayena de na aguara, arina jorara. Gawisu y baraco, mamuri wisimi. Muraco, sucuru amiju, chimi se poli pobro. Arico, negara, ni jirapa mamapo. Que su ibama. Echinamuti. One thing I should point out with the cold I have, if I go quiet from time to time, it's probably because I've muted the mic, if I'm lucky enough to have done that, managed to do it, so I can cough. Alright, if you don't think you were born to run, you're not only denying history, you're denying who you are. Apparently the Taromara people are well known for their running abilities, even though they live in mountains. We are not this strange little old man we're about to meet. We're the young, strapping Sukurumo he's about to talk to. Anyway, not really, kind of, sort of, kind of, but not really. A cutscene. Hey, M M Mulaka. Is that you? I'm not Greek, so I don't really know what Mulaka is. I'm kidding, but let's not go there. <laughs> Whoops. Demonetized. Ooh. Gods above, look at yourself. 
You're all grown up now, and a full-fledged Sukurumu as well. You truly are the living image of your father. Tell me, young one, what brings you here to the barren lands of Samaliuka? Hmm. hmm. A dream, is that so? Samaliuka is a place of pilgrimage for, for whomever in need. These sands will provide one way or another. But you must forge your own path, my boy. You can only go as far as your own feet can take you. <laughs> so, go forth. You have a long journey ahead of you. Indeed. Right. Straight into it. The um, controls are pretty intuitive. Space to jump. Left mouse for quick attack. These here are your, your kind of tutorials, I guess. These statues. So we're going to whack some rocks here. And get some kor korima. Whatever that is. Space jumps. Shifts run. Run and jump for a nice big jump. Run and left click for a very fast attack. And then right click is heavy attack. Jump and heavy attack for your, for a stomp. And middle mouse button is dodge. That's the, the main part of the, well the main stay when it comes to the controls. And we're about to go into an arena and fail miserably at killing things. Let's see if I can't be a little bit more efficient than I was last time I played this. Oh, we took one out. Got hit a little bit by one of the guys, one of the scorpions there. Oh, that was nice. And now we're just going to beat on a bunch of flying balls. Alright, what's this one here? This is a Sukuromu Vision e button. And this here is our father. Spitting image. Hello, my child. Wow, wow that was loud. <laughs> Hello, my child. Don't fret. What you see before your eyes is naught but the very essence of who I was. I've finished my journey amongst the living, and now I shall return to where we all came from. All the way up to the stars. Or at least I should. But sometimes we perish in such a way that we cannot part away immediately. I'm in here attempting to reach Jikuli, the wise. With his advice, I should be able to finally reach the world above. Spread through these lands, you will find more people like me, fallen stars. Talk to them. You might prove value. They might prove valuable to your journey. Let's get out of that view because it's actually kind of loud. All right, there is harvesting. That is. Hello, uh, hello, hello, aloe vera oil. Is that what we're making? Anyway, let's collect it all. And you can see there on the left bottom, we are generating something every time we collect an, a, a handful of them. What is it, about three or four of them? You create a soul potion. To use that, you hit one and you get a little dance. Very good. So that's one of the first potions that we're going to learn to craft. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Let's try that again. These plants do grow back though, or at least they do in this area. That down below us is quicksand. We do not want to fall there. That would be bad. More over here. So we may as well collect it. At the moment we have eight soul potions. Nine soul potions. Bit of a jumping puzzle. And this is where we learn about our heavy attack. We oh, just made it. Just hey, we got it. Yeah, parts way. And what do we have in here? Something that we're going to collect. Korema. All right, let's just beat up some of these rocks. That's what we do best. Here's where we learn about the dodge. I think. Yep, it's the dodge. This thing here gets me every time. Uh, you, you're gonna, you're gonna attack? Whee! And now we're going to beat him up. 
Do I get to collect that? Oh, I do. Good. Good. If we hit... What was it? F1? Alternatively, we can go into here. The, the escape button. Enemies. Enemies. Okay, we have... Some weird scorpion things. Uh, oh, okay. So those ball things were some kind of a spirit. What is it? Koyochi? The trick's the spirit of a fox. It pushes a tumbleweed around and pranks living creatures by bumping it against them. They're good-hearted in nature. Their harm is unintentional. The Kyochi, Kyoki itself is only visible through the all-seeing Sukuruma vision. Okay, well, there you go. I, didn't, I was unaware. Scorpion, of course, which we call the Tamachira. Or, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Um, any, nothing else unlocked yet. Okay. So, let's resume. Now we have another mob over here. A weird skull thing. He goes down pretty easy. Yeah, oh, we, we collected. We collected him. This here is a save point. We're going to hit F and save on that one. And head over here and run right past these people. No, we're going to chat with them. Do you see that big rock on top of that hill? It's actually much more than a simple rock. It has stood there for years amongst the desert. It is said that only he who is capable of getting the three mythical stones that once were part of it will gain the right to go beyond, where mortals can speak with the demigods. You are Sukaruma. Aren't you? You should be able to see everything that's hidden with that all-seeing eye of yours. Why, yes, yes, I can. Uh, funny that. I can hear thump, 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 thump. There is another mob around here. I don't much care for fighting him. Perhaps I should. Uh, oh, it's a tumbleweed. It's one of the tumbleweed foxes. So let us... Ah, yeah. They can see him. Bye bye. Apparently, when we do that, we can also see some form of a a, a life a life panel. What their life is? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. I don't know if there's any secrets that we can find out. Apparently, it's quite hard to get up these areas. Oh, another tumbleweed. And what appears to be an. What? Another jumping puzzle, maybe? Oh! Oh! <coughs> See, I've done that just to show you guys what happens when you die. That was that was the point of it all. Let's see if we can't get this. <laughs> Let's get this with... Oh, uh, this is... Yep, yeah, I thought so. It's an arena. A battle arena. Oh! Oh! And we uh, 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 chain him up. Stop. Oh. Come back here. That's it. That's it. Where are you? I missed you. Not that time. Oh, there's more. Come on. Okay, we're gonna take some. S oh. oh, apparently, apparently, we should not be taking them. Apparently, we should not be taking the soul potions when we're in the middle of a ah! bunch of enemies. Yes, I, I don't, I don't much care for. <laughs> this this particular arena. All right, have we done it? We have. Okay, yeah, that was that was more than I was expecting. Okay, we're gonna have to collect some more soul potions. I think I've I've gone through a few of them now. But at least we get to see the soul potions in action. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? Uh, that was a that was a thing. Finisher. Wow. 
Wow, that was that was that was something. That was something else. Oh, um. Okay, I did not see that that was a thing. Apparently, yeah, you got to jump over that. He doesn't have to, but we do. Let's let's run for it. See what she's got to say. I saw a shiny stone, but the pheasant beat me to it. He ran away with it. And he's too fast for me. I guess I'll never know what that shiny stone was. So we do want to go and catch whatever that bird was, the pheasant. Where did he go? Where did he go? I didn't follow him. Can't go that way, apparently. Jump over that. Yep, I learnt my lesson. Oh, jump into that. That was exactly what I was planning on doing. Oh. Gee. I thought I'd be able to land on that. Apparently not. Okay, now... I should also mention, this is a pre-release version, I guess. Uh, it is... It, it does have the occasional bugs that are known and supposedly will be fixed before release. So if you do see the occasional bug, it's... it's it, it should not be there in release. Can't guarantee that, of course. I've just been told that, that will be the case. Uh, uh, no. Apparently you can't go that way. Oh. Uh, how do we get up there? I want to go up there. I want to go up there. Alright, I guess we got to go back over this way. Jump across. It's a little bit tricky for somebody as uh, incompetent as myself to make these jumps. <laughs> uh, oh, we did it. We didn't do it. Let's give it another shot. Uh, oh, yay. Hey, we can harvest some more of this stuff. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Nuh-uh. -uh. Apparently I'm not going to... That was a, a nuh -uh when I was attempting to dance. Uh, oh, yep. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, dear. Uh... Do I really want to do this? Nope, apparently not. <laughs> Jumping puzzles. We'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, is this where we're up to? This is where we're up to. Ugh. Okay, okay. Ooh, almost ran right off the platform. Hey, we made it. What do we get from that? 50. Still not entirely sure what that does for us, but hey, we got it. And... Yeah. Oh. No, apparently that was a little bit too much of a jump. To that one? Uh, yes, we can. Good. Good. All right. Now I see the pheasant over there again. Oh. Let's get rid of that thing. And you know what? It's time you died. Couple of nice wax there. Oh, we gotta hit F on it, do we? Is it F? Hey, we got it. No, please, don't hurt me. Here, if you have mercy, I'll give you this artifact that I found. Oh. Why, thank you. I'm sorry, I have nothing else to give you. But wait, maybe my brother can help you. Yes, he's somewhere west of here. Okay, I had no idea that's this was part of the, the whole um, quest ah. chain, but... Excellent. Apparently we did have to come over here and die a whole bunch of times. Not to worry. We can always dance to get better. 
Full health. Uh, so west, I'm assuming, is over this way. Tumbleweed, we can run right past you. Oh, that was a good, a good jump, but a better fall. Yeah, I can see some more rocks over there, so we'll go. Oh, we'll go and have a look over there. It looks like there is some kind of a jump. <laughs> Whoa, he's loud. You, yeah, I'm guessing he can't get up here. Hey, some more of this delicious soul dance. Oh. And oh, that released over there. Okay, I'm guessing that's where we've got to go then. There is, however, something over here worth looking at. I guess. Is there? Maybe. No, there's a rock. Well, that was interesting. There's also a sparkling rock over here. Inspect. Chikuli. The advice giver is one of the Rahrapa Machuwama Wami, the ones above. He shares a sacred link with Father Moon and Mother Sun. Disguised as herbage, he guides us. He gives us true sight. After the Great War of the Trees, he left for Samalayuka. This is why, if anyone wants to find him, they must make the sacred journey into the Great Desert. I'm leaving from now on. I'll no longer live where there are trees. Where there is war, I'll look for a place where everything is calm. The sacred Chikuli to the Taramara people. Alright. Let's keep going. That's a bit ominous. Giant bones. Anything able to take something like this out? Oh, uh, an arena. Oh, I see, I see the, the pheasant's brother just over there. Let's kill that one. There seems to be quite a few scorpions right now. If I was any good at this game, I'd be killing lots of them in one strike. Alright, well that got another one. I think I got two then. Hey, I didn't. But we're going to pretend I did. I think it's time we just walked up and did <laughs> There we go. Tumbleweeds now. Hey, that was nice. That was nice and easy. I made that look good, didn't I? I made myself look good. For once. <laughs> Forgot about that. Game saved. We've just found ourselves another weird egg thingy. I'm guessing it's a vase. Vase. <laughs> And there goes the pheasant's brother. Also a pheasant. Whoa, whoa, don't run off. There's a big scary over there. I'm going to go to settings. Because the audio... <laughs> is very... Very loud. Very loud. Alright. Let's go in here and see if we can't get rid of this fella. Come on. Charge me. Charge me. And then we're going to whack his backside a couple of times. Hmm. Uh, let's see if we can't catch him. Oh, we got him quite easily. Ah, no, don't hurt me, please. I can help you out. There's a treasure on top of this rock. Come follow me. If you jump on top of me, I can give you a boost to help you get there. Ah, scorpions. There's one more scorpion over there. Let's whack him a bit. Good, he's gone. Alright, so we jump on him and... Hey, now! That's a thing. Uh, oh, I got maximum potion, so I can't collect any more. We can collect whatever this is, though. And that's one of the stones we're after. Alright, there's one more stone to go. 
I'm guessing we want to jump back down here, do we? Do you want to talk now? No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. No, no. Oh, okay, he doesn't want to talk anymore. Let's run past all these scorpions. We don't want to fight them any more than we have to. Yeah, it's nice and quiet now that I've turned. <laughs> now that I've turned that the the volume down, I probably should have done that from the beginning. One more to go though. Where would it be? Apparently, there's something up there. How do we get up there though? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a mob. Wonder how we get up to there. Well, it's not by doing that. <clears throat> there might be something else around here that we have to do. Alright, so we've been over to that one. Is... This another spot over here? What is... No, let's avoid you. Weird skull thing. Oh, we got an old man to talk to. Speak. For the fiery mother, would you look at that? A young Sukurama. I, I know I say it different every single time. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Embark on an adventure. I never thought I'd live long enough to see that happen again. I knew the Sukurumu, Sukurama, long ago, back when I was a kid. He told me all about his training and his abilities. Take, for instance, the Sukurumu vision, using the all-seeing eye to reveal the spiritual secrets hidden in the mortal realm. He taught me that everything in this world has a soul, and everything is connected, just like a cobweb. He could sense the strength of a soul, allowing him to measure up his adversaries and strategize accordingly. Bah! But what am I saying? You already know all this. You are a Sukumurumo. Ha ha! Try and use your vision as often as possible. Secrets lie everywhere, young man. You reckon that's a hint? You reckon he's telling us? There's a... Nope. Nope, don't think he was. Alright. Well, we're going to run up here. We can't collect any of that. Yeah, no, we can't. Yep, we're we're full. But I'm guessing... I'm guessing that is the one that we've already been to. So we're not going to go there. What about up here? Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. And there's more tutorial. Oh, man. We managed to get him. Throw spear. Q. Oh. And... Ooh. Oh, that was a good shot. And that gets us through to... A... Person? With a bird? With two birds. Two parrots. Huh? What a peculiar stone. Don't you think, guys? It has a mystical brightness to it. Although I don't really know what it is. Ch oh, hello there. I'm terribly sorry I didn't hear you coming. I tend to lose myself when appreciating the many wonders of this world. My name is... Nezima, and I'm a researcher by trade. I travel all around the world studying all types of creatures, from the smallest insect to the largest mammal. These lands are filled with such interesting beasts. I'd love to write about them all. Interesting, yeah. Perhaps one day my research will reach people from all around the world. That's kind of the idea of this game, isn't it? Help everybody understand the living creatures that inhabit the, this earth. Sigh. So, could you imagine... Sorry, I got carried away. Seems like you were looking for this. Go ahead. I don't have a use for it. Very good. And remember, if you ever want to know more about the creatures of this land, find me. I'd gladly share all I know about with you, my friend. Alright, so apparently if we talk to him, uh, we get to find out about what it is that we kill. Have you noticed the sheer amount of scorpions in this area? I have. I've had to fight them. These little fellas are most likely drawn to an alpha male that's local, located somewhere nearby. I've never encountered such a creature, but they are said to be huge. It's only weak spot, a massive eye, shielded by a naturally grown solid shell. The only way to crack it is to hit it with a tremendous amount of force. If you ever encounter one, and you have no way of running away, go for the legs. That might help as well. Okay, that could be useful information. I dare say we are going to run into that... Uh, that giant scorpion, at some point at any rate. Alright, but we got, anyway, we got the, oh, surfing down the side. Oh, no, that didn't go so well. Surfing down the side of the sand dunes. We've got the third stone, so we should be able to head up here and have a, a little peek inside. 
Shoot, yep. Something's happening. Hey, it opened up. Now we can go in, I guess. Any cutscenes? I was expecting more. Of oh, you're kidding. <laughs> We're in an arena again. Uh, wouldn't be such a problem if I was uh, not so bad at, <laughs> kill at killing things. Yes, I guess. Is that enough? Oh, no, no, it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. There's a tumbleweed after me. Hey, that was a little bit rough. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey, let me get away. Couldn't get away. Couldn't get away. All right, you gotta, you gotta have your little dance when the mobs are not around, unfortunately. No, I only managed to hit him once. Okay, run! Uh, and do that, apparently. Oh, you're kidding. He knocked me straight down. <laughs> he knocked me into the quicksilver. The quicksilver, the quicksand. But he's the last one, so he's gone. Let's take a... No, no, no. I thought that was going to be the, the, the final round. Apparently not. Oh, uh, got him, got him. Jumping straight through the barrier there. That'll do the deed. Oh, still another one. Got him, got him. Is that it? That's it. Yes, all right. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> hey, that got one of our souls back. Back up to three. Yeah. Oh, we made it. Very good. Nothing around here. All right, let's collect some plants and make ourselves a few more soul potions. I was hoping for some kind of a save rock around here.